So what I'm going to talk about today are using some watercolor pencils um, and I'm also recording this as I go through my spiel here so that way um, I don't have to do this like a hundred times today. Um, and I'm going to upload this video to YouTube so you guys can watch it at any point um, if you need a refresher on how to use these art supplies. So what I have for you to use are watercolor pencils and watercolor pencils are really really cool because they're in this weird place between color pencils and watercolors and you can use them like both so they're extremely versatile art supplies um, the thing is though that watercolor pencils are a lot more fragile than color pencils are and color pencils are pretty fragile to begin with so we need to make sure that we take care of these as long as you take care of them them they will last you a very very long time so one of the things that you want to do with watercolor pencils uh, make sure they stay in the tray and the container in the box when you're not using them the little tray has little um, so sort of like plastic grip things and then just carefully get them out um, one at a time as you need them and keep them on your table and just kind of be mindful of where they're at um, while they're on your table so I'm gonna get out blue and purple here and I'm gonna set the rest aside when you use watercolor pencils just like any other kind of soft core pencils um, don't drum with them, don't snap them against the table, things like that, because that breaks the core all up and down the inside of the pencil. Um, and that gets really frustrating as you try and use them to color or paint with. Um, so the other thing too is you want to always make sure that with any kind of soft core pencils, color pencils are included in this, um, pastel pencils, charcoal pencils, um, color pencils, you always want to use a hand sharpener. Don't use an electric sharpener or even one of the ones that's like a crank arm sharpener. Use the ones that has a blade in it because if you use the ones that crank, the gearing um, will, and the way that those sharpen is it will just grind um, and it will gum up your sharpener and it will just grind away at the soft core. Um, so use a, a hand sharpener and I have a bunch on the table um, for you to use as you use these pencils. So there's a couple basic techniques and there's a couple different ways that you can use color pencils. You're probably familiar with using color pencils um, in a traditional way to sort of color in an area. So here I'm using um, a purple color pencil, watercolor pencil, and I'm just going to show you what this looks like with the dry on dry. So I'm using a purple and a blue. And when you blend color pencils, there's a couple different ways that you can blend color pencils together, but you always want to go in a circle. Because if I go back and forth, and I'll show you what that looks like here. And I'll go right here too. You can see that there's like this weird band that develops here and right here. Um, and that's because of the way that you're going over the color pencil um, like this. And that's going to create these areas of dark and light that are almost like stripes. Which if you're going for stripes, that can be really handy. But if not, then um, that can be um, something you want to watch out for. And I'll just hold the tip of the pencil here up so you can see how much I've worn down that um, watercolor pencil. Just with a little bit of coloring that I've done. Um, I've worn it down pretty significantly as you can kind of see here. Um, so watercolor pencils are very, very soft. Um, so you always want to make sure that you blend in a circle. You can also take your finger and you can kind of smudge and blend using um, pretty good pressure here. And you can see how that kind of creates a little bit of a softer blend. I don't know if I can get my camera to come any closer here. Let me see if I can bring my paper up to the camera. But down here at the bottom, it creates kind of a softer blend um, rather than up here where it's just the, the raw pencil. I have another tool I'll show you in a little bit called a blending stump or a tortillion. Um, and that is a paper stump, or rather a roll of paper that's just glued um, into a really tight roll. And then you can also sharpen this. But you can also take this and use this with some pressure to blend your color pencil together. And I can even kind of pull it up a little bit into the white paper there so you can see. And again, going in circles. I'll bring this up so you can see close to the camera. You can see that this makes a much softer blend as well here. This kind of makes it more a little bit more like a cloud or fog. 
So there's other cool things that you can do with watercolor pencils. They work like watercolors. They are very much more water soluble than um, a lot of other art supplies. So one of the really cool things you can do um, is you can get the paper wet first. So I'm using this big brush called a wash brush. And you always want to use watercolor brushes with watercolor pencils. I know it kind of is like a duh thing, but it actually makes a lot of sense. Watercolor brushes are designed to hold a lot of water in the bristles. Other types of brushes aren't necessarily meant to hold a lot of water. So watercolor brushes will hold an enormous amount of water in the bristles of the brush. So I'm just going to take this brush. And it's a little bit hard to see, but you'll see it in a moment. And I'm just going to brush some water in onto my paper. And I've used a permanent marker first to kind of show where the boundaries of the box are going to be. And a lot of brushes, when you first start using them, will kind of give off a lot of little hairs. So you want to make sure those don't dry in your artwork. Give that water a second to soak in. Then I'm going to come over with my watercolor pencil, and I can draw right on top. And you can see how that looks a lot different. It kind of makes the watercolor pencil a little bit softer when I draw right on top of the wet paper as that watercolor kind of starts to even out. For comparison, I'll do just a red line here so you can see, I'll bring the paper up again to the camera. Actually, let me see if I can bring this down a little bit. It's a little bit easier to see. So if you look here, this is where the wet watercolor pencil, or excuse me, the dry watercolor pencil is on wet paper. Up here, this is a um, streak made with a dry color pencil. So it's a little bit softer line work with the um, dry color pencil on the wet paper. So the next thing I can do is I can actually wet my watercolor pencil down. So I'm going to use my purple again. And I'm going to dip it into my, uh, my cup of water here in this case a water tower, and get the tip of the pencil wet. And then I can also dry, or excuse me, draw on the wet paper, or dry paper, excuse me, I need to finish my coffee or something, with my wet pencil. And that kind of gives it a similar effect, but it makes it look a little bit more like a marker maybe. So if you compare the dry pencil on wet paper, the wet pencil on dry paper, the marks are similar but not the exact same. And then finally, the last effect is I can draw with my pencil and then blend it with a wet brush. So I'm going to take, I'm going to put some purple down first. And then I'll take my blue right on top. So then I'm going to use my wash brush again, the big wide one, and go over it with the brush. And you can see that it also moves some of the color a little bit. So where you push pretty hard with the watercolor pencil, you get well-defined lines, but I'm getting some paintbrush hairs. Where I pushed uh, hard with my pencil, I'm getting some defined lines. But where I brush it with the watercolor uh, brush in the water, you can see that it moves some of the paint around it. So I have both definition but also a little bit of background color too. And just like watercolors, you can also use some other special effects um, with the watercolor pencils as well. Um, you can use them to fill in large spaces with color. Um, you can also use them to get definition in different areas. You can wait for the, a wash to dry and then draw right on top and get that dry definition um, on top of your wet wash area. So you have a lot of different options for how you use watercolor pencils and they're pretty versatile art supplies.